Hey everyone, and welcome to another Tuesday Tips. Um, today I'm just going to show you a neat little um, technique. And we're going to be using the Art Gallery stamp set. Okay, so I am going to use my paper piercing pad. And I have white cardstock here. And when I stamp this one, okay, so I'm using um, the Gorgeous Grape. And I'm just going to stamp that on there then I'm going to take Highland Heather and I'm just going to line that up and the thing is with these I always say they don't really matter if they don't line up but by putting on the smaller one first and then putting the larger one on I seem like I can get a, a better image and this is um, Granny Apple and going to stamp that okay so I just want to make sure that my inks are dry on my card before I start adding my glue and we'll just get some of my things picked up here so I have room to work so just kind of make sure that that is well dry okay so at that I am using um, the liquid glue and I just have a piece of tissue paper tissue paper is bigger than my paper just like I said I want to make sure that's dry because otherwise putting the wet on there I don't want to smear it at all so and the thing is if you are what I would have been best to do is just stamp a piece and have that um, already dry. So, okay. So now we're going to take our glue. Okay, first of all, what I want to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just scrunch it all up. Just want to be careful that you don't tear it. But to just kind of open it up carefully. You don't want to like pull all of the little wrinkles out of it. Okay, so like that. And so we're going to get our glue started. And we're just going to put our glue all over that. I want to make sure that it's on the sides so that it grabs the paper. And like I said, I always put a scrap paper or something underneath so that it, um, I get the glue on. You work on a surface and then it's like, oh shoot, I had glue on there and then it sticks to your card. Okay, so I've got that all over there. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my um, tissue paper. And like I said, make sure that it fits, but I'm going to kind of just tap it down. And I'm not going to take my finger and try to smooth it out. I'm just going to tap it. So that kind of leaves some of the wrinkles. And this takes a little bit to dry. Like I said, I always make it a little bit bigger than my my cardstock so that with all the wrinkles. And like I said, just tap all over. And that just kind of gives it a neat textured look. And then to pull it up from your paper, it kind of sticks a little bit. And so this is what it looks like. Isn't that kind of cool? And again, here's my finish card. And you see my finish card, I might have not tapped down, so it's a little bit looser around the flowers. And so that's why you want to make sure that you have a glue that, and the the liquid glue works perfect for that because you can just put it all over and it dries clear but it gives your flower kind of gives your light and dark on there but hopefully you enjoyed this technique and like I said here is my finished card so yep, so there are the two gives it a neat texture look as far as um, how your card looks on the top 
And you can do a lot of different, you can do backgrounds with this. It's just a really neat technique. Hope you enjoyed our Tuesday tips and join us next week for another, another new idea. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.